gap. Oh, it came right out his mouth. You never, oh, it came off. Ah, oh, he got off the hook again. What's going on? A lot of fish and TV. We are here. Beautiful Toledo, Ohio right now. It is perfect conditions. The water is getting a little clearer, not that great. The water temperature is a lot warmer and we about to fish. We're gonna fish with shad and we're gonna get these rods thrown out here because I'm telling you, I think we own to something here. I hope so. <laughs> Y'all stay tuned. There's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing. All right, y'all. So look, we got the fresh shad right here, gizzard shad to be exact. Um, we about to use this as bait. Now I do have some dark water premium baits. I might throw a couple pieces out there to see exactly what goes on. Um, but here we go. We gonna start off quick. But every time you take a little shad like this and you put them in a vacuum seal, they will tend to bleed uh, from the gills, but that's because of all that pressure. You can still see blood, guts, and glory. All right, so we got enough pieces right here. Like I said, we do have the dark water premium baits. Let's take two heads and let's walk over to the rods. All right, y'all, with one of the rods, we have us a demon dragon set up so that we can try to get that bait off the ground to see exactly how they are biting. And then the other rod here, we have us just a Carolina rig set up. Just to keep it directly on the bottom to see exactly what's happening. Let's get this bait in the, get this hooked up right here, right through the top. And that's how we casting that, just like that. All right, we're gonna throw the Demon Dragon rig first. Bites. And here we go. I don't wanna cast too far right now. Oh, that's a nice long drop, there we go. There's a little current in there good water flow not too heavy just enough to keep the fish active and interested right there I'm not gonna cast real far today I'm gonna keep it on that ledge it's like a gradual ledge right there that the fish will feed on and I'm gonna keep it right there and see if any fish is flowing through there like I said our water temperature has risen substantially so that would get the fish really going the plus it's been about almost a good what four days since uh we had that warm front come in so the fish be active come on gap oh it came right out his mouth came right out his mouth all right here we go here we go hopefully i got this one this time i'm gonna let him get it he's still there he's still there he's still one more pull i reeled out ready set and go got him got him there we go got him not this time buddy where the bait sitting directly on the bottom it seems to be getting the most bait uh bites right now which might be the ticket for that rig but i'm gonna still keep it out there because you never oh it came off it got off the hook second time in a row here we go, he should be on this time. And we have us, ah, oh, he got off the hook again. He got off the hook again. Missed another fish. What? Wow. I don't know what's going on. All right, so my rod fell on the ground because the fish decided to take it. Got him. Got him. I didn't miss, missed them. Got off. Got off the hook. I'm not understanding how these fish are biting, yo. Here, another fish. Another fish. Another fish. Watch this. I'm not even going to get my hopes up. Smaller hook this time. If, if, if this was the, if, if this the problem, that I needed a smaller hook, then I'm going to have to go smaller hooks. Because they're not getting them... They're not getting them six to seven hour hooks in their mouth at all.
this is bad bro i didn't miss a total of what five fish is that all right we should be able to get down here and get them and that hook is in his mouth he's going nowhere finally smaller hooks i'm about to change to a three odd circle hook instead and just have to go with that because right here this hook is in his mouth and it's in there good there we go that's what it is see ada <laughs> look ada my daughter out here with me oh it's a good fish too look at this oh look at this decent fish about i'm giving it about four and a half pounds and i know they get bigger down here so we gonna ah, come on oh he is biting down there we go but this is what i got and this is what actually caught the fish i had like some sixes in, on there and that just wasn't it they were just always missing all of them so and these fish are fat look at that look at that that's what i'm talking about look at that that's a good fish right there all right let's get them in the water and we on for another one yo <laughs> it's a wild morning man but i think we're gonna turn it around and she is off fish on i believe yeah i think that's a fish on come on as soon as he reel back down as soon as he go down Come on. There you go. Got him. Got him. Man, these fish been fight, biting so weird and crazy. I think we finally changing the narrative of these fish now because it's been a hard road. This fight, fish is fighting me, dude. It's not big. Not big at all. It's not a big fish, but it's got some, it's got some aggression to him. Yeah, there we go. Man, his little dude is fighting for, like he just huge. He ain't, dude, he, you can tell he a smaller fish just twisting and spinning and trying to do everything he can in his might to get that hook out of his mouth. Dude, stop. Oh, look at him. Yeah, look, he trying to get me all tangled up and stuff. Let's see where he's hooked at, cuz I know I ain't been having a good hook set on these fish like that. Great hook set on this fish. So I can just pull them out. There you go. All right. The connects are happening finally. I missed at least, I swear I probably missed at least six fish, bro. That's crazy. Before we finally start getting any. And then all it took for me is to have a smaller hook on because they not... They don't got a lot of energy on them. I mean, they do and they don't. It's like they they fight because they just know they caught. But the way they biting, it's not with a lot of power at all. Yeah. All right. Let's get them in the water. Yeah, let's see if we can get some more fish. We're going to reposition these rods. Get them back in. Put some fresh bait on. Stay tuned. All right, here we go. I think we got a fish on. Yeah, I think he on. I think he on. Give him a little bit more time to. All right, got him, got him, got him. There we go, he tried. He tried. He tried. Oh, did he try. Hopefully we get into some bigger channel casts, but boy, I'll tell you what, this morning was a fiasco, man. I ain't never missed so many fish before I actually caught one. That was ridiculous. This fish right here is not heavy at all. Definitely light, doing everything he can to get off that hook. He feels, he's feeling a little heavier now as we get, but not, not nothing that I can't, not nothing too serious, of course. Y'all have been fishing with me enough to know what, a trophy channel cat look like see i gotta get this sinker right here there we go 
There we go. See, little dude, we gonna get down here. We don't even need a net for him unless the hook is not in his mouth good. Where's that hook at? I can barely see the hook. Seems like it's in there decent. We could miss this fish right here, but. There we go. Man, they are fat though. They are thick. These channel cats are thick, boy. They're not huge, but they extremely fat. They are eating down there. See, we talking about a gut. Look at that gut on him. Still a good fish though, man. Don't get it twisted. With that stomach being so big, he's literally pushing about five pounds just because of the gut alone. And the GoPro, he don't look as big. Look at that. All right. Let's get him out of here and let's try to get on another fish. It's that simple. It's that simple. All right. Y'all stay tuned and we should have another fish. All right, hold on. I think we got a fish on. Now he was pulling a drag, but I'm gonna I'm tighten that drag back up and he should be there. I'm gonna reel down on him. And voila, we got him. We got him. Fish on. There we go. Nothing big. Because if none of the fish has been big, as you can see. Dang. That's a good thing. Let's look at that. That hook. Oh, yeah. That hook got him. He ain't going nowhere. Let's see where that hook is at. Right in his mouth. Should be right there towards the corner of the mouth. And it is. Oh, this thing is thick. I'm there. Down there eating. Look at that. And some of them will be filled with eggs too, by the way. Look at that. See? We're going to put a fresh bait on there. But let's look at this. Oh, he got the... Oh, he got other bait in his mouth. What is that? What is that in his mouth? Oh. He got the other shad in his mouth. See that? All right. Let's get him back in the water. A little splash to the pad. All right. So, I mean, we got a few of them. I mean, we would have had a lot more, but I missed about 60% of the fish <laughs> that's been biting my rods. There you have it. It's gone. Oh, there he go. There he go. There he go. Oh, did he? Y'all, oh, he stopped biting it. He got off. He got off the hook. See, that's what I'm saying. These fish been biting real finicky. Got him. Got him. Oh, got out his mouth. See? Same kind of bite. Same kind of bite. Same kind of bite, boy. Here we go. I'm starting to miss the fish all over again. He almost knocked my rod down. Got him. But he ain't no big fish, but man. This is the kind of bites I'm looking for. Fish that bite and stay on that hook. The one flip side about braid, man, is just you can feel everything that's going on, man, when they bite, man. It's a good thing about braid. I do prefer monofilament, but you can feel a lot of, you can feel that bite, man. I've been losing them. So I'm just going to put him in the net. I'm not even about to play around. Let's get him in the net. Not a big fish, but a good looking one. Once again, another fish with a fat old belly. Jesus. Let's see where that hook was at. Did it, was it in there good? Oh yeah, it was getting there good enough. See that hook right there and no bait. He probably got that bait in his mouth, but let's look at this fish. Oinking at me, stop. You shouldn't have bit my stuff. He a dark channel cat, look at that. Ooh, look, thick, boy, that belly is tough. He is eating up a storm down there. Boy. All right, let's get him back in the water. 
it's not the biggest one he's close i mean he's close to uh the biggest one but i think we can get them bigger than this i swear i think we will i think we will get one at least i think we can get one at 10 pounds at least get out of here come on come on dude you're supposed to swim the other way there you go there you go there he go <laughs> he reeled down on that thing oh popped right out of his mouth because he was a hater but i ain't i'm gonna keep it right there oh that fish is a hater y'all oh, here we go oh he never had it that was strange oh he never had the bait in his mouth the day was kind of crazy like i said man all these fish i was missing was absolutely crazy but at least we did get some fish on the board man it just would have been crazy if we didn't but we still managed to do what we had to do we came out here with the shad we caught fish y'all already know what it is like i always say there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing i'll see y'all next time hey looking for more content well please subscribe also like us on facebook and always remember there's nothing wrong with a lot of fishing thank you for watching